Hi everyone and welcome back. In the second video of this Docker container crash course, we are going to talk about Docker internals. Okay, so we have to understand the, the background of Docker. That we are saying that it is based on the Linux container technologies and all, right? But what it is making the Docker containers so much robust, right? Because it is like a small Linux container we are creating on top of host operating system which is having everything, right? You can just do uh, all kind of stuff which you can do on the host operating system. It is a mini Linux you are getting, which is not that much memory intensive. It is, uh, it is just occupying very minimal process and it is kind of giving you the sandbox environment. And you can spin up many such kind of containers on your host operating system. So first of all, it is built on top of this Linux container technology and what all different components which is making these things possible this we are going to talk in the docker internals okay so what we are going to talk today is uh, first of all docker installation will come later like how to do the docker installation and all first we will try to compare the virtual machines and the container environment right we have the vms earlier we used to have a vms where on the host operating system you can spin up the the guest operating system just we just need a hypervisor support uh, on Windows, you can install the Ubuntu and it, like with the different distributions, it can be Ubuntu, Fedora, Debian, all these different operating system. So there is a one host and all others are guest operating system, but there is a limit, right? Because they are uh, process intensive, memory intensive, and you can just spin up maximum two to three based on the configuration of your infrastructure, right? Because they will require enough amount of RAM and memory to be consumed, right? And we have a different application set in, in your local setup. You see, we are running MongoDB, MySQL, Node.js, RabbitMQ. All these will require a guest operating system. Then we will run out of the space and memory resources. So it's better that we can just use a container engine. So we are using Docker as a container engine and we are spin, spinning up these containers on the host operating system, right? So we are using Linux container technologies for that. I mean, Docker engine is using it and Docker engine is uh, helping us to create the containers either on the Mac, Windows or Linux. Earlier it was available for Linux. There it, we were creating the small, small containers on top of host operating system. Now Docker engine is providing that compatibility with uh, Mac and Windows also, okay? Before going into the deep, like first we need to understand the Docker internals. Okay, Docker internals talks about what is this Linux container technology? What are the CH root, C groups and namespaces? Because your Docker containers will be built around these three things. Okay, there are many things about if you just talk about Docker and Linux kernel, how they are actually communicating and what all components they are sharing, right? So there's a lib containers, LXE, all these things are shared and they are able to create a small containers because we are getting isolated environment with the help of ch root c group some namespaces okay this is just an initial diagram like this is your docker docker engine is running docker is actually will install a daemon process on the host operating system and you will be able to achieve all these things because we have a lib containers lxe and this lib word okay and the next container already having all these kind of capabilities where you have a namespaces, C groups and CH root. Okay, so what actually is these C groups, namespaces and CH root? Okay, so Docker, we are installing Docker on the host. Consider that we are running on Linux. Okay, so Docker is actually taking the lot of advantage based on what feature Linux is providing. Okay, Linux has all these rich features of providing the containers, groups and namespaces and Docker needs all these things to create a isolated containers in different namespace. So it is using that. Okay, so what is namespace? First of all, Docker makes use of kernel namespace to provide an isolated workspace, which we are calling as a container. When you run a container, Docker, Docker creating a set of namespace for your container, these namespace provide a layer of isolation. So Either we are installing VMs or containers, what we need is isolation, right? So, and namespace, which is a core feature of Linux kernel is providing it. So we are able to achieve PID namespace 
uh, net namespaces, IPC namespace, mount namespace, and UTS namespace. I mean, these are the different namespace which we are pro which is being provided by kernel. Okay, so Linux container is a lightweight virtualization environment provided by Linux kernel to provide system level virtualization without running a hypervisor. When we are installing VM, we need a hypervisor, right? But when we are installing these containers, we need, need a Docker engine and we are using LXC. So we don't need a hypervisor environment to create these small Linux mini containers on top of your host operating system. LXC combines these three concepts, namespace, groups and ch roots. So we talked about namespace. It, it is actually giving isolated uh, and namespace for our container so that our containers will be totally isolated in terms of network, in terms of, in terms of space and everything okay next thing is c groups okay what is c groups c docker also makes use of kernels control group okay this is inbuilt feature this current diagram is actually linux kernel control groups so these control groups we are using for the resource allocations for a different task okay a c group limits an application to a specific set of resource Control group which is allowing docker engine to share available hardware resources to the containers and optionally It is also enforcing the limit and constraints. Okay, so what are the resources? Host operating system is having memory and process and code, right? That we are sharing with our containers. So the C group is actually limiting With the help of control group We are limiting the docker engine to share a particular hardware resources from the host operating system So this C group is actually core feature of the kernel to restrict the access to system resources okay so here we have a memory c groups cpu groups cpu set groups device c groups okay these c groups are actually helping us to uh, share the resources from the host operating system so what are the main resources we need cpu network storage right and memory these things we need for any container what we need cpu processing memory network and storage right and these C groups are allowing with the help of different C groups like memory C groups, CPU C groups, CPU set C groups, network C groups. All these are helping us to share the host operating system network, memory, processes and the storage. Okay. So this is how we are able to achieve that. Okay. Now another thing which we have is like ch root namespace we have already talked about it these are the different type of namespace we have network namespace mount ipc user namespace uts it is actually creating uh, the separate process namespace i mean obviously it will be a part of root global process id only but it is creating isolated namespace pid which will be assigned to a container only okay combining these three things uh, Features of Linux kernel provides a sophisticated virtualization resource isolation framework, right? Here we are using the term resource isolation resource isolation framework because what we need is a segregation of resources among different containers. If we just try to share the resources between these containers, then there will be conflict and we will not be able to achieve what we want. Okay. So we talked about namespace, C groups and all. And with the help of all these three components, we are able to achieve the Docker containers, right? So Linux container itself is providing all these things which are helping us to create a containers, right? So we have host operating system, we have a Docker engine running and Docker engine is actually creating containers for us. Okay, so this is basics about uh, Docker internals. Okay, this is how we are actually able to associate, create a containers on top of host operating system. This is in terms of Linux, but this everything is combined with LXC. LXC has all these three components available. And I mean, this is enough for the developer knowledge. You can go into the deep and you can talk about ch root, which is actually creating a separate process. Okay, which is actually creating the process boundary. What is the host operating system? on the host we are creating the isolation of a particular process using these namespace we have created and c groups are actually managing the resources which are being allocated to these individual containers from the host operating system okay thanks everyone now i think we can start with uh, docker docker installation and creating the containers